So let me tell you about my experience in the war and give you a perspective. I was a little kid. I was born in Iran in 1975. And in 1980, the war with Iraq started. But this conference is about high technology. How does high technology actually create weapons that do confer advantages versus traditional firearms? The only victory that endures in consequence is the one in which no one is defeated. We pray to God to eradicate all the misery in the world that understanding would triumph over ignorance, generosity over contempt, and truth over falsehood. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> start selling their technology to the U.S. military. And there's no laws or policies in place to limit how that technology can be used. Part of the problem is that even those who select potential drone strike targets can't always be sure of who or what they're targeting. Daniel Hale, a former Air Force signals analyst, tasked with identifying high-value drone, high drone targets, said that the most, deter the most disturbing thing is the uncertainty if anyone I was involved in killing or capturing was a civilian or not, because there really wasn't any way of knowing. By the way, Hale was recently arrested and charged under the Espionage Act. You keep selling guns to the bullies in the neighborhood and you expect peace. It's not gonna happen. I just ask you for one last request, and that is to do your part, whatever you think is the right thing to do. Contact your senators, contact your representatives, get active in the anti-war movement, and make sure that we stop the next war from happening.